empty house the house is sold we are moving out this week and it's time to move this contraption Hello and welcome to what's left of the Grumpy Shed. Um, if you're seeing this, then the Grumpy Shed is no more. There's the uh, where the bike used to be, and we're uh, we have our house sold and we're moving out this week. And uh, that's uh, a bittersweet moment. I mean, we're moving into town and we have a much better setup in there. Well, we're we're renting for the moment, um, and. Uh, Thankfully, there's somewhere to put the bike in town, which is decent. Um, and uh, yeah, just moving out the last of the stuff this week. Sale is closing on Thursday, so it's all out before then. And a uh, busy week for me, but in the meantime, I get to sit up on this bike for the first time in almost a month, so that'll be a bit of crack. <sighs> Cheers, house. Trying to see if I remember how. And we're off. This is the part I uh, never left in the videos before because people tend to not really need to know where I live. But uh, this, if you're watching this, I don't live there anymore. It's all good. Back in the saddle, so to speak, and also kind of literally uh, our things. <laughs> I am uh, back on the bike after a few weeks off it for various different reasons. I was away with work and also I was selling my house as I mentioned um, for the last year we're moving into Dublin. So the last couple of weeks I've been chasing around solicitors and lifting heavy boxes and using more bubble wrap than I thought existed on the planet to um, move everything we own either into storage or to a place that we've rented in Dublin in uh, North Dublin that's as specific as I'll get so you'll be seeing a bit more of that uh, on the channel over the next little while my commute has gone from coming from out where I'm at where I was um, which was over an hour, uh, certainly in over an hour in the car, occasionally you get it down to 15 55 on the bike uh, out near Prosperous in County Kildare. I'm in on a dart line, so that'll narrow it down even more. And I'm about a half an hour from work, which is kind of terrifying coming from 10 years of hour long commute. And so uh, moving the bike from the old place to the new place is literally the first time I've sat up on it in probably three weeks, which is uh, pretty shite. <laughs> but uh, it's good to be out, even though it's kind of a, a mucky kind of a day. And my visor is fogging to fuck because it's been sitting up and hasn't been cleaned in ages. But so my new commute involves far fewer of those lads. And uh, actually, if I'm feeling super lazy, I can get a, a train in about a half an hour which uh, I feel like being the fat lazy sod that I am uh, I'm going to be doing quite a bit but I'm going to try and uh, especially as the weather turns around and we've been really lucky this year with weather for those who live uh, outside of Ireland it's usually 
kind of shit for uh, a few months but it's what well, it's the start of March now and it hasn't snowed or iced or in any specific you know there's there's been a couple of icy kind of nights and it's kind of dull and fucking shitty out but it's still grand weather for being on the bike and uh, there's been probably like one or two days that I would have said maybe not this year to taking the bike into work um, weather wise so there's been no excuse um, so especially as it uh, will turn around in the next month or so I'm going to try and consciously uh, do a bit more in town um, this uh, bike is you know very large for the sort of maybe town work that's been done but uh, I don't think I'm going to change it I think it's still a very nice bike that I enjoy riding very much and I will uh, be using it for stuff aside from commuting so we'll see what that entails over the next while easy there cat yeah watch where you're going